our one year anniversary show is getting a little sweeter thanks to our next guest. We are so happy to welcome back Evan Morgan Newfer of Evanly Bakes. And we have to say thank you. Look how cute this cake is. Of course, you're so welcome. I'm glad to be here on the one year anniversary. Well, this is right Very up my alley. Cupcakes, <laughs> cake icing <laughs> it's amazing Evan, what are we doing today perfect well we're gonna do a little bit of cupcake decorating so i'm gonna kind of show you guys how to like zhuzh up an ordinary cupcake oh. um so you can do more than just one color add a little bit of gold you know something to just make it a little bit more exciting for you guys and i want to i want to show people at home because i don't know if we're doing anything close to this but Beautiful. my gosh we are. We're actually going to do rosettes today. I'm going to no, teach you guys are. how to paint with gold luster dust. <gasps> okay. Um, and I, I figured like too. Open up my own bakery after yep. this, right? <laughs> Go we ahead. Should. We can compete a little bit. It's nice though. It's <laughs> nice. It's a healthy competition. So what I'm going to teach you guys real quick is how to be able to do like a striped frosting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I've got three pre-dyed frostings over here. I've actually got my white and then a pink and blue because you know chalk Pittsburgh <gasps> yes. colors. Yay. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to do little stripes in some saran wrap right here. Oh, okay. And you're just you gonna it look alternate. So easy. It's really quick with it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's taken nine years of practice. <laughs> That's it. So <laughs> I, I'm not gonna grade you guys today. I'm gonna help you guys out as much as possible. Um, and so normally we'd fill this up just a little bit more, but we know we don't have a lot of time on TV. And so what you'll do is just take your saran wrap, you're gonna roll that up, and it's gonna give you a nice spiral oh, pattern. Oh, and that's how you can get Correct. Different colored icing to like come out in that swirl. So then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let you guys, we'll decorate three cupcakes each down here. Okay. And yeah, go ahead and grab a piping bag. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. And so this already has that frosting preloaded in there for Thank you guys. You, Evan. Now, is there any technique that we should follow in terms of getting this icing to yes. actually so go So the on fact the that we're going to do rosettes, um, I always kind of suggest if you're not used to working with piping bags, use both hands. That kind of helps do even pressure yeah. for you on there. And with doing shorter rosettes on the cupcake, we want to start in the center. Start in the center. Mm -hmm. And then an we're angle. just going to go around like this and evenly push that frosting out of the bag. Okay. Oh, you do that so well. And okay. do that. So we're going to start in the center. There we go. There you go. I feel like perfect. We Look got at you go. You could be working in a bakery right well, now. Well, I mean, I'm always thinking of Plan B. You know, you never know. <laughs> you never when know. That, you yeah. never know when that notice is going to come, and then you're like, what? Do, now, what do I do? And then you just um, as so, you, you uh, pull off right there. What happens if it breaks? Can you? So if it yeah. breaks, that's why you know frosting. We can always do something different with it, which yeah. is why we'll use yeah. that luster dust later to kind of hide some mistakes. Um, and so you know, that's when you're going to be I finishing up that piping, what you'll want to do is you'll give it a little bit of a flick. Oh, just flick. to kind of get just okay. to kind of get that frosting off of there because it can be a little bit sticky. You want to make sure that you don't keep, uh, get it out of that nozzle whenever you're working mm -hmm. with it. And so just kind of flick it whenever you're ready. Boom, and there you go. I mean, oh, I will be your apprentice bed. if you want. Oh, perfect. And can then I... I'm going to get our luster dust ready to go while you do your last oh, one. Oh, we have luster now, dust. Now, um, oh. Heather, I feel like every time I come here, I bring alcohol, but this time it's not for drinking. <laughs> okay. Um, we're just going to take a little bit of vodka. Okay. And I'm going to add a couple drops to our luster dust. And why do you use vodka and not water? Um, because uh, the vodka is gonna actually evaporate really quickly for us. Mm. Um, it doesn't leave behind a taste. Um, it doesn't water down the color for you at all. Um, and uh, it, it's safe for children as well too. So once okay. you do paint it onto cakes, um, that air just you know does its job, takes care of it for us. It looks like liquid gold. It's so and pretty. And so, oh, let me grab, I actually have some prepared cupcakes too because you do wanna chill that frosting before you do your luster dust. Mm -hmm. So grab one of these. Okay. That oh, these are chilled. Already. Yeah, these are okay, chilled. Great. And that's just so that the icing isn't so soft. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we're, you know, kind of gentle, but do as much as you want to on there. Oh gosh. I know. So this just just put this everywhere? Yeah, but wherever you want to, you know, uh, you can, I, I use it sometimes to, you know, hide some mistakes. Um, that way it just looks like it's, you know, a little bit more elegant, a little bit more elevated. Mm -hmm. And this um, is edible? And this is all edible. Wow. So pretty. And it's so fun. It's, you can do it in all types of colors too. Um, you know, there's purple, there's blue, there's pink, silver. Um, I really love to have fun with paint brushes with all of the different desserts that I'm making because uh, I consider all of my cakes, you know, custom couture, one of a kind. Oh, yeah. Um, the best way to be able to do that um, is to be able to use, you know, art supplies sometimes. And this is also a really fun activity for kids. Yeah. Um, so I like to say that, you know, baking's for everyone. Um, doesn't matter how old or young that you are. Um, this is a really 
fun way to be able to make sure that it gets exciting for children. As I well love too. this lesson. I could put this all over Just put it right <laughs> <in your laughs> my Works body. A good yeah. eye shadow. Thank you so much, Evan. This is so great. So much no, fun. Of course, of fun. Course. All right. If you would like to purchase some baked goods from Evan, we are going to have more information for you on our website, kdka.com/talkpittsburgh. And we promise you, as pretty as they look, they are just as good to eat. <laughs> so